Chapla and Ajajic, Mexico, retire cheap in paradise, low cost of living. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. This is my Chapla and Ajajic, Mexico, retire cheap in paradise post. Chapla and Ajajic, Mexico are top choices for Americans, Canadians, and Europeans who want to live or retire cheap in Mexico. I'm going to show you pictures of the area as I discuss the cost of living and benefits of living there. I've been traveling since 2007 looking for the perfect place to live. I've been to 64 countries so far. The top areas in the running for retiring or living cheap in paradise for me seem to focus on Mexico, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Europe. But since I love warm weather year-round, I learn I lean more towards Mexico and Southeast Asia. If I was stuck in Eastern Europe in the winter, that would be cold. Today I'm in Chapla and Ajajic, so I will focus on that for now. But first, here are some fun facts we found on Wikipedia about Chapla and Ajajic. Chapla is 28 miles or 45 kilometers south, southeast of Guadalajara on Lake Chapla. Lake Chapla is Mexico's largest freshwater lake. Chapla is mostly a weekend getaway for the inhabitants of Guadalajara. Around 50,000 people live inside the city limits of Chapla. That includes the 15,000 people living in Ajajic. The 15,000 international expats live mostly in Ajajic. The expats are predominantly from the USA and Canada. The most famous expat who has lived in Chapla was Tennessee Williams. While living in Chapla, he wrote The Poker Night, which later became a streetcar named Desire. The walk from the center of Chapla to the center of Ajajic is about 9 kilometers or 5.5 miles. So most people ride a bike or they take an Uber or drive their own car. Best walking tour and map of Chapla and Ajajic. I provided a YouTube video of uh, my Chapla Ajajic walking tours with comments, just click the link below this YouTube video. Uh, Chapla, uh, there's also a, a link you click and you're on your smartphone that will guide you through the walking tour on Google Maps. The first stop in Chapla is Plaza Civica Municipal. You walk a few blocks around the main plaza in Chapla, then head down to the lake. As you head to the lake, Palacio Municipal de Chapla uh, the Chapla City Hall will be on your right as you walk towards Lake Chapla. It's a beautiful brick building. Next, a uh, parish of San Francisco. Make sure to look inside the beautiful San Francisco Parish Church on your way to the waterfront. Finally, Chapla, Lake Chapla, Malacan de Chapla. Walk left uh, along Malacan de Chapla. Malacan is a sidewalk along the lake in Chapla. While at the boat docks on the waterfront in Chapla, consider whether you would like to take a boat tour of Lake Chapla. Tour operators will approach you or look, or look for their signs and ask what tours are available and how much. Uh, Parque de la Cristiana. Keep heading along the waterfront uh, until you get to this park. Again, links provided and a walking map from Google. Just follow the map. Keep walking through the park. When the park ends, work your way back to the street and turn right. After four or five blocks, you'll end up at the following cultural center. Centro Cultural de Chapla. This above cultural center used to be the old railroad station that carried passengers from Guadalajara to, Ch to Lake Chapla. Now it's a large art museum. Make sure to walk around this beautiful property. Then grab an Uber taxi to the next stop, which is in the neighboring town of Ajajic walking tour. Take the Uber taxi to Plaza Principal in Ajajic, which is nine kilometers. Ajajic. Just click the link to get started on your Ajajic walking tour. It starts in Plaza Principal de Ajajic. This is the central plaza in this small town. There was, there was an arts and crafts market on the day we arrived. Enjoy this plaza and then head down to Malacan Ajajic uh, following the, the Google Maps tour. This is the beautiful waterfront walk on Lake Chapla in Ajajic. 
the Lake Chapla Society. This is where the expats all meet to find people with similar interests in language. Their website is provided on the, the link below this YouTube video. That completes our walking tour. There's other activities that are available and a link provided. Golf, horseback riding, hiking, motorcycle tours, art walks, spas, and thermal pools. If you're enjoying this, could you please like, like it or share on social media, comment below or subscribe. Your interaction will rank us higher in search engines. Best restaurants in Chapla, Machima. Machima, this is a delicious and well-priced vegetarian healthy restaurant. I recommend it highly. Second, Cafe Grano Cafe. Nice place to sit on the main plaza in Ajajic and have a Chile Riano and other local Mexican favorites. And finally, Tremizo Italian restaurant. Feeling like Italian? Stop by here and have a nice Italian meal. If you book my recommended flights, tours, or accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra, but will earn a small commission. Best cheap hotels in Chapla and Ajajic? Hotel Villa San Francisco in Chapla. This place is gorgeous and such a great deal at $60 per night when we checked. Uh, next, Casa Luz. Uh, look at the ratings and price on this place, $45 per night when we checked. Really a lovely place. And then there's an Airbnb apartment here. Here's a bright, colorful studio for $30 per night on the day we searched. Also, there's a coupon provided for a big discount if you're new to Airbnb. I started living internationally over 11 years ago. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. Just click the link below this YouTube video. Best flights, buses, and trains. There's no airport in Chapala. But the closest airport is Guadalajara International Airport, GDL. It's about 20 miles from uh, GDL to Chapla and costs around 240 pesos uh, or 12 US dollars if you take an Uber. International or national flights use Skyscanner to find the cheapest flights no matter where you're going in the world. Get a Mexican SIM card for your smartphone when you land. Roaming in Mexico is completely highway robbery. Don't do that. Buses. You have to come to Guadalajara to get a bus to Chapla or Ajajic. Both ETN and Primera have buses throughout Mexico uh, to uh, Guadalajara. You can visit the English ETN website or right click on any web page from a Google Chrome browser to translate any website into English. Once in Guadalajara, take an Uber to the old town, uh, old bus station, Antigua Central Cameroon in Guadalajara, Mexico. At this bus station, a one-way ticket to Chapla or Ajaji costs 80 pesos or about $4. The bus departs every hour from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The bus drops you in Chapla at the Chapla bus terminal or in Ajaji on the main road. You can walk from either to your accommodations or take an Uber for just a few dollars. Uber. I use Uber when I'm in Mexico. I like the international record of who picked me up and who dropped me off and where. Plus, I know the license plate number when they arrive. Plus, I don't have to negotiate uh, price or explain my destination in Spanish. Um, Chapla and Ajajic, low cost of living. Uh, Chapla and Ajajic have a, a very low cost of living. Uh, today I'm in Chapla, Ajajic area of Mexico. This post has the Chapla, Ajajic, Mexico low cost of living data. Just click the link below this YouTube in the notes below this YouTube video. I collect data about the cost of living as I travel around the world. You see, I left the USA in 2007. I visit family every year in the U.S., but I live internationally. I've been to 64 countries so far. Uh, moving forward appeals to me, but I will pick a place to live eventually. But I will keep traveling at least six months of the year. 
So far, I favor Southeast Asia, Mexico, and Eastern Europe. Livability factors. Livability is a soup of factors that I evaluate when I'm trying to determine whether or not a place is livable. Not just livable, but highly desirable to me personally. Here are some of the ingredients in my livability soup. Walkability. Chapla and Ashishik, Mexico both have a high walkability factor. Technically, you could live here without having a car. Of the two, I would prefer to live in Ajajic and have only a bicycle on days I wanted to visit Chapala. The roads are very bumpy, so I would get one of those beach cruisers with big fat tires. Skinny road tires on a, on a bicycle would not be workable. I would just walk around Ajajic for all of my daily needs. Internet. I read online that some people are still struggling for reliable internet here. This is a red flag for me. Before I would move here, I would need to make sure that the place I was moving into had reliably fast internet speeds. Food. For towns of this size, Chapla and Ajajic, you would expect to struggle with food choices, but the food choices are better than you would expect due to the large expat community supporting fringe foreign food tastes. The international food choice for a city of this size are perfectly respectable. There are even multiple vegetarian choices for many international foods. If you're enjoying this, could you please like it or share on social media, comment below, or subscribe? Your interaction will rank us higher in search engines. Weather. The weather is lovely in Chapla, Mexico. Chapla rarely gets too hot or too cold. The warmest month is May. The average high for the day in May is 86 Fahrenheit, or 30 Celsius. The average low at night in May is 63 Fahrenheit, or 17 Celsius. It generally cools down at night in the summer due to the elevation of 1,524 meters, or 5,000 feet above sea level. The coolest month of the year is January. The average low at night in January is 52 Fahrenheit or 12 Celsius. The average high for the day in January is 73 Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius. The rainy season is June through September when it rains at least once per day for about 15 to 20 days per month. During the rainy, rainy season, it rains 6 to 10 inches per month. They don't see much rain from October to May. Things to do. There are all sorts of things to do in, it, in town and lots of open land around if you like to hike or be in nature. There's, there's also all of the activity, activities you would expect on a large lake like this. Plus, click the above Chocla, Chopla and Ahahik Retire Cheap in Paradise guide for information about horseback riding, hiking, motorcycle, arts, art walks, spas, thermal pools, and local clubs where expats and Mexicans meet to find people with similar interests and language. Social considerations. Because of the high concentration of expats and Mexicans catering to expats, the social opportunities are rich, richer here than some larger towns in Mexico desire to move here. Medium. After visiting here and comparing it to places like Guanajuato, I think I may want to live in a more urban setting. This just seems a little too rural for me. Real estate prices in Chapla and Ajajic. Don't buy real estate right away. I recommend that you live here for at least one year, maybe two, before you buy a place. Talk to people who have bought and sold to get the whole story. This is not like moving to another part of your home country. If you are positive you will want to buy in a year or two, you can do research now. It's okay to do research now so you know you will be able to find something suitable in a year or two when you're ready to buy. For that reason, I posted a few photos of places for sale at the bottom of this post. There's a realtor phone numbers and prices there. You can contact them to do more research if you like. 
Start by renting. People are uh, below are my estimated costs of living one month in Chapla, Mexico uh, as a temporary visitor. If you rented a furnished apartment by the month, it could be cheaper. You can rent a furnished one bedroom apartment ranging from about 300 to 800 US dollars per month, depending on how modern and how close you want to be uh, to the nice areas of town. Okay, monthly cost of living in Chapla, Ajajic, Mexico. Um, the cost of living ranges from about uh, $1,200 to $1,400 per month. Um, the, the above cost of living is lower than, high is lower than the medium because I'm using a furnished apartment rental price of $600 per month for the high, which is slightly less than hotels. There are no hostels that we could find for backpackers, so I'm using the Airbnb price, which is cheaper than the modest hotel, or $30 per night. If you're enjoying this, could you please like it, share on social media, comment below, or subscribe? Your interaction will rank us higher in search engines. If you'd like to learn how to make money online or how to live internationally, possibly with less money than you spend at home, Please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or get a free copy of my ebook. Uh, contact the realtors on the following pictures if you want to get more prices or do more research. These homes are more of a local experience. They can provide you with really expensive, amazing places if you're trying to find America in Mexico. But the three provided on the webpage, there's one for 100000 one for 136000 and one for 195000 just so you can see examples of how much you can buy uh, for your money. Everything that I talk about was in writing. Just click the link below this YouTube video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thanks for watching this video. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner?